fire and ice, bleeding, black flames, poison, slow. That is the perfect ingredient for the worst possible torture that we can give to any enemies here in ASTD. <laughs> All right, I have to quit that kind of voice. <laughs> but anyway, guys, on this run, we're gonna be using the best of the, actually, this is not even the best of the best, but in my opinion, the best team that will consist of each and every single effect that we can apply to a unit. But of course, the aim of this video is not to reach the leaderboard, but rather, well, torture the enemies because we are bored, right? <laughs> and obviously, guys, we do not have Urin because Urin is not giving an effect to the enemy, but rather to our unit, so kind of doesn't fit this team but Bruh. anyway guys let's see if this pentagram of effects aka ingredients will also entertain us on torturing the enemies anyway let's go i'm pretty sure that the very first thing that i will find on the comment section will be hey snail why do you use todoroki yes it doesn't have the highest fire or burning damage at the moment but i also wanted to include the freezing effect and if i'm gonna do that then i will be losing blackbeard blackbeard is actually the key on this team because our target Target is to torture the enemies as you know as worse as possible you know what i'm saying so we got to make sure that we will be able to give them a slow and painful death and without the slow effect that would be really impossible actually there's someone <laughs> just running for his life yo you really think that i'm gonna let you pass oh my god yep we are already lagging out oh you know what i'm just uh I'll probably place like a todoroki or you know you just want to kill that dude okay we're gonna talk about the placement later so we're gonna be using our normal placement for blackbeard guys all right so anyway we're now done with our Blackbeards. It's now about time for our Todoroki. Since we do not have Erwin, I really love playing ASTD without Erwin because I, I actually have the freedom to place any unit anywhere without any restriction. Okay, so I think that this is going to be my first placement for our Todoroki because I do not want Todoroki to freeze the enemies right off the bat. I'm not sure, guys, if that is still a thing, but if you guys don't know it, stunning the enemies is actually messing up the slow effect because of the general cooldown. But again, I might be wrong all right so for the next unit that we're gonna place uh, probably shinobu shinobu is not that expensive but the problem is i already forgot what shinobu is doing i believe that she got a lot of buff yeah this placement is not the best i just don't want to you know waste two hundred thousand. i guess that we're gonna be placing our shinobu a little bit further back here i might even place like a shinobu here all right there you go all of our flower trainer aka shinobu is now placed uh, i'm gonna change their priority later guys don't worry all right so for Doki. Uh, by the way, we're gonna place our <laughs> Obito last because he's the most expensive, but we're also not gonna place eight siblings right off the bat. Okay, let me just check. Can Gyutaro hit the mo Oh yeah, this is really good. Okay, Gyutaro will miss this at that placement. So I guess that we're gonna place like a Gyutaro a little bit further to the right side. Okay, I think that I'm just gonna max out this Gyutaro and probably save cash for our Obito because we're already in winner 48 guys. And I think that there's even a chance for us to not be able to max out our Obito. And if ever that will be the case, then I might actually redo the whole run because you know, we will be missing one key ingredient and that's gonna be the black flames. All right, there there you go guys our second Gyutaro and Daki is now placed and like what I promised guys for those Naruto fanboys we are now gonna place our Obito our Obito placement should be really one of the most important because Obito is really gonna be the heaviest damage dealer here so I'm pretty sure that if we're gonna place our Obito here he will not be able to cover the entire food map but just to be safe guys since I do not really know his normal range I'm just gonna place our Obito there oh I was wrong our Obito placement is just perfect look at this guys he's still not maxed out but yeah he will be missing this corner but i'm pretty sure that they will still be attacked over here the other corner is actually good oh my god obito is such a beast all right guys i'm in the middle of a dilemma here i mean i now have two million cash to upgrade our obito and i'm gonna do it right now but the problem is I'm actually not sure if I'm willing to max him out for 550,000 or probably just wait for more cash and just place like another max out Gyutaro. I'm not even sure if this is bugged or not. Look, plus zero range, zero SPA and zero damage. I'm not even sure guys if this is the final upgrade for the Black Flames that Obito got. Just to be safe guys, I'm going to upgrade our Obito and also turn on my, oh my god, I gotta get far, I gotta get far. I'm not gonna turn on my attack effects. 
and let's see this abomination play in front of our eyes okay i can see of course blackbeard's attack that is todoroki's ice attack gyutaro and daki's attack as well as there okay th there's a lot of colors but most of them are black and purple so i'm not really sure who is who okay um that color black thingy is from what from obito oh yeah the color black ball is from obito nice okay so i think that we're actually not laggy which is pro okay i'm sorry game oh my god the game just humbled me oh all right those kind of spikes would probably kill me. What's my ping right now? My ping right now is not at the best, but it's actually spiking. Look at that from 100. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, uh, I'm going to turn that off, guys. I'm going to turn that off. Okay, at least it's now a little bit peaceful. All right, there you go, guys. You can already see that these enemies now got some diarrhea while they're running. So they are now getting frozen. They're now getting burned. They're now also bleeding and also even getting poisoned. I just cannot see the poison effect, though. Where are our shinobus? Okay, this is a shinobu. Oh, our shinobu still cannot reach anything. Yo, we are now at wave number 80, guys. And they cannot even reach this corner over here. Well, they're now reaching these blackbeards. But as you guys can see, because of their elemental effect, it's kind of like their buff. Imagine if we actually really have Erwin here. The perfect damage of every single effect would be a lot, lot better. But as you guys can see, bleeding. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. We also need to make sure that our Blackbeard would also not miss any enemies. And since we are actually set to strongest, we have a higher chance to actually pop those really, really tanky cloners later on. So we might as well. Oh, yeah. Since we do not have Erwin anyway, I guess that I'm just going to focus myself on probably resell our black beard just to make sure that everything will be slowed down but anyway guys another max out gyutaro that's really a good news okay no discrepancy now on our damage for bleeding all right but we are now at wave number 82 speaking of the devil we have here a cloner oh my god look at all of these effects just eating and killing them slowly but surely but they're not really getting tankier yo we are now getting pushed all right i, I still cannot see the the po oh yeah the poison is kind of like a color purple bubble yeah i can now see it guys i'm not sure if it is clear um on the recording but i can actually see the color purple bubble it's just being overlapped by the color purple aura but yeah that's gonna be the poison damage let's go all of our ingredient in our alchemy here in hdd is now on play and we are now at wave number 85 oh my god look at that guys we got pushed but because all of the enemies are experiencing a slow and painful death we are still popping and kicking here, guys. Oh my gosh, this is really satisfying. Like this dude, look at this Yusuke, guys. Okay, he doesn't have any freeze and also, oh yeah, this one, this one, this one. Look, freeze, burn, black flames, and also poison. Oh my God. I would be so surprised, guys, if we will be able to crack wave number 96. Cause wave number 95 is kind of like a uh, so-so run, especially, oh wait, 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 oh, this is, oh no. Dude, what the? Okay, that was really sneaky crocodile. There's a cloner here. We gotta watch out for this cloner. Look at that, guys. There's the there's the disadvantage of putting the priority at strongest, guys. But the advantage is all of these units will actually have almost equal amount of HP. But another problem, guys, is that if ever we're getting pushed like this, this unit is not getting hit because all of the units are actually targeting those powerful, like more HP units, kind of like this Jinbei over here. So I think that it's now about time for our Obito to hit at first, just to make sure, guys. But that would be, yeah, that would also kind of like a waste of DPS, guys. Look at that. Uh, no, probably not Obito. Maybe Gyutaro. Yeah. Oh, no, Gyutaro's SPA is 13. Hmm, what are we gonna do? What are you, you know what? Yeah, screw it. I don't want to be Einstein anyway. All right, AoE first. We got to make sure that we're not going to be killed by freaking Jinbei. <laughs> that's, that's probably the worst unit to kill us. All right, so we're still good here at the back, but this Jinbei though is kind of... Oh, wait, look at that. Jinbei is just going to die. All right, there you go. Wave clear. Um, there's no fast unit. Oh, wait, these are fast units. Okay, um, there you go. Upgrade. Come on, come on. Slow them down. Slow them down. Slow them down. Blackbeard. Bro, he's just behind you. Oh my God, the SP. 
Mm, the SPA of Blackbeard, though. Uh, all right, let me just place them here. Oh, crap. Are we good? Oh, it's actually working, guys. We killed that. We are now about to reach wave number 90. All right, a little bit laggy, but it's okay as long as we're not going to disconnect. Look at all of these diarrhea, gang. All right, poor monkey also got frozen. And where's my Blackbeard? All right, there you go. Uh, no cloners. Okay, there's a cloner over here. So definitely we will be needing another Blackbeard here. All right, strongest. Okay, we need like one more wave clear, guys, just to be able to place like one maxed out Gyutaro. Probably not even going to be enough. 2.8. We need 2.9 and I cannot place like another Gyutaro at the moment. Otherwise, our damage for bleeding will be messed up or probably... I am going to place a Gyutaro, set the priority to first. Yeah, 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 that, that's actually a good idea. Okay, here we go. All right, max out Gyutaro at first as well. We are now really getting pushed. Where is the cloner? Cloner is about to pop. All right, we actually need to follow that cloner, kind of like on a leaderboard run and set the priority of this Blackbeard too. Strongest. Oh, look at all of those frozen enemies. Oh my God. We are now at wave number 92. Who needs Erwin if you have the power of all of the elemental damage? Another way clear waiter 93 all right um blackbeard okay this cloner is really gonna kill us if it will pop and not gonna be slowed down all right cloner just pop bro oh yeah this cloner is still tanky as heck we are now also about to experience the slow and painful death this cloner is making me anxious all right um all of them are still oh crap i should oh no i forgot to actually put them to weakest no that should have been my original plan no ah oh, i was so stupid oh we're not gonna reach wave number 95 can we ah uh, no i should oh god i'm so stupid damn 